going guys, Pretty Boy Shoes back in another video. Today we have an update on my Chaos Renegade Guard. As you can see, this is my Lehman Ross that I've converted up and I've begun to paint it. So going with my traditional scheme, as well as adding a lot more weathering, especially using a wash. So I started by airbrushing a Vallejo Model Air Grey onto the model and then adding a bit of white and highlighting that grey then afterwards I went in using Games Workshop's Cracked Stone and airbrushing a camo pattern onto it after that I went in with a heavy wash of Agarax Earthshade which gives it a really nice dirty look as well as I've added these water stains where rust is collected and rain has washed it down. After that was all dry, I went in using a sponge and Vallejo model colour German black brown and went over all the edges and gave it a very nice weathered look. The other colours I've started to base coat. You can see with these fuel cans. I wanted to go for a very dirty look on this tank as I fit as I think that fits the Imperial Guard scheme very well. I've also done a bit more work on my Manusa conversion as well as my tracked heavy weapons. Next I'm going to paint on this will be finishing off all the metals as well as the tracks. Maybe adding a mud effect. Or also you have an exhaust effect on these exhausts. As well as the grate up here. I plan on having some OSL on the searchlight. I'm not sure what colour, maybe blue. And to get a bit of a feeling, I have some of the work in progress weapons I'm currently working on. These will be done most likely using the same grey and metal as I have on the rest of the tank. Eventually I will paint the rest of the weapon variants, but for now, I just have the Vanquisher Sash Demolisher Cannon, which can be seen quite easily, and the Heavy Boulders. I plan on buying another Lehman Rust kit and converting it up a bit to be the main command tank for my squadron. I plan to use 135 scaled tank tracks on these areas to give it a very nice bulky feeling as well as building a more bulkier back here and a widened turret that will most likely be an execution variant which uses plasma cannons comment if you like how this tank is going to look as well as if you like the weathering I've done on it I'm quite proud of it and I think it looks pretty good for such an early stage and please remember to comment, like and subscribe.